V-Twins, the V-8's back again on a Land Cruiser power steering conversion project. So, um, what, my, what I tackled into this morning was refabricating my heat shield that goes between the exhaust pipe and the, and the steering box. There's a lot of heat that's going to come off that exhaust. So they have a heat shield that uh, bolts to a couple brackets on the steering box. This steering box is in a little bit different position than the other one, so there's a slight modification to it. Nothing really big time. I just had to uh, bend a couple brackets, drill another hole in the heat shield, but it looks right and it's uh, going to serve the purpose. I'll bring the camera over, I'll show you the heat shield, and then the next thing we're going to move on to is um, kind of figuring out where the power steering pump's going to mount, get that mounted along with the belt and everything, and then we can finish it up by running the, uh, the pressure and return lines to the power steering pump and that will pretty much wrap us up. So I'm going to bring the camera over, I'll show you the heat shield situation and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so here we are here. You can see this is our steering box here and then this is the heat shield here. I had to drill a hole in one side of it. It bolts here, it bolts underneath on the bottom, but what it does is it blocks the um, the steering box from the exhaust pipe that comes down over here. So I got that all set. Okay folks, so now we're going to get ready to mount our power steering pump. We've got this bracket right here that the company sent us. What this does is it mounts in this angle on the bottom of the block in place of the smog pump bracket. So you move the smog pump bracket, this one slides in and this is going to be your mount bracket for your power steering pump. So this is our smog pump bracket here. It's down on the bottom left hand side of the engine. There's two bolts. There's one here. I got these bolts in here finger tight. We're going to take these out and then we're going to put our new bracket that we just got. We're going to put that in. So let me just Sometimes you get this stuff and there's little or no instruction and you wonder. So here's my old bracket here. This is my new bracket. So it just kind of does the same thing, just a little bit different position. So you got to kind of wiggle it around down here, get it into position. What happens is this snugs up and it mounts right there just like that. The two bolts that you took out are gonna go right back in the original location. Then we're gonna sock those down and then we'll be able to set the pump on there and um, work on getting the adjustment bracket and the belt and things of that nature going. Okay, so here's another view of what our project is starting to look like here. I mounted the, the pump, drops down on the bracket that we had down there. There's a bolt on either side, I get that on there. We have this slide adjustment bracket that's bolted to the pump here. It's got a big slot in it so that the pump can be moved back and forth for adjustment. Then you got to remove this bolt on the bottom of the water pump. That's where the bracket attaches. Now when you take this bolt out, more than likely you're going to have to get another bolt that's going to be at least longer by the thickness of this bracket. I also recommend that you put a little silicone sealant on this bolt because it is going through this water pump and you don't want to have like a, a water pump leak or you know a little drip here or something like that uh, once you get this all together. So now that I got my pump mounted and my adjustment here, power steering pump mounted where it should be and I got my belt all in place here. Now, I made sure that my belt lined up with my lower pulley and my belt lines up with my water pump and, and the pump is in a you know nice perpendicular vertical uh, position. So I get it all in there, all tightened up. I have to get another belt for the, um, for the alternator because the one that I have is not the right one. So I got to take the original and, uh, and go back and see what I can do with that. But then I'll put my outer belt on and tighten my alternator and then this will be all set and then the next thing will be running our lines from the pump over here to the box. So that'll be the next part of the project. 